Hi, welcome back to Impossible. Next up, I have Aries. What's up, Aries? So, you know, on this channel, Impossible, I give you your oracle messages for this week, your weekly motivation, okay? On my other channel, Impossible 2.0, is where I give you your general messages, okay? The time now is 12, 17, so 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, the master, uh, the master number, okay? So the, the ascendant masters are with you. You may be seeing 11, 11. You're definitely on the right track. You may be having dreams of bus, train, stuff like that um wishes uh coming true soulmate connections but this is not the channel for this <laughs> this is talking about you're on the right path okay so pay attention to signs and synchronicities and you know music at this time your spirit guides are trying to talk to you even your enemy could give you a message this week so just pay close attention guys okay so let me start with your angel Okay, I'm going to give you your affirmations and stuff like that. I'm going to be uploading a new uh, Aries video today on my other channel, I'm Possible 2.0. So let's begin, guys. Let's begin. I hope you're having a great Tuesday. <laughs> yes, um, or a great weekend. Okay, um, yeah. So try to wear bright colors this week, guys. Try to wear bright colors this week. Okay, let's begin. Try to wear bright colors this week. Like I said, you're going through a transformation. Nine, you're spiritually ascending. You're on the, again, spiritual journey. Okay? Yes. Okay. So, um, you may have Aries, rising moon, Venus, or your north node, or be a double Aries. Okay? But this is all about action. Okay? Stepping out as a new person. I do see rabbits. We are in the year of rabbits, which is renewal, breakups, makeups, reconciliations here. You may be pregnant at this time. Okay, but going through your transformation gracefully, you're not fighting, you're not fighting it, and it's letting go of control, right? Um, you're well protected, okay, you may be dealing with a Leo, or have rising moon, Venus, or your north node in Leo, okay, but I do see procreation here, okay, pregnancy, but it's giving birth to new ideas, and staying hopeful about your future and having faith, right? Okay. Yes, but I do see something in the spotlight as well. Transforming into a better version of yourself, and it's beautiful and bright. Okay, some of you guys may be choreographers, dancers, singers, writers. Okay, social media presence here. But, again, powerful transformation taking place here. But you're brave and courageous. And you're taking the lead in your life, which is very good. Ariel, keep on Mother Earth. So you may have uh, predominantly Earth in your chart. Uh, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, Rising, Moon, Venus, so your North Node, okay? But this is about grounding yourself, right? Stability, okay? Feeling good about yourself, yes. Very bright, very bright, okay? Or you may be dealing with an Earth sign, okay? Love nature, heart-centered, being outdoors, abundance of natural things, care for Earth. So there may be chaos going on around you at this time. Be careful with accidents, guys. Hold on, okay? You may work for EMT or police. Hold on. Be careful not to allow anyone to take you out of character this week, Aries. Pay attention, close attention to your temperament, gossip, or any any chaos around you. Just remove yourself, okay? Immediately. Follow your intuitions, all right? Because you're on a spiritual journey. You're, you're on the right path, okay? You may have the natural look or make natural products for yourself, okay? But heart-centered, okay? Loving yourself, embodying yourself, right? Self-love. Healing. Healing. And care for earth. So, again... Uh, go outdoors, get some sun, okay, yes, but I help manifest the fulfillment of physical wants and needs and amplify your care of animals and the environment. You know, some of you guys may be veterinarians out there as well, okay, but rose quartz, two weeks, and inspired action. Like I said, it's all about action, but something significant happening in two weeks, okay, but spirit wants you to be all about action, so your projects, go out there, get that job, start exercising again, eating right, get some sunlight, okay, yes, all right, but loving yourself, okay, nurture, caring for yourself, your body, all right, let me get your affirmations now, Yes, I am the designer of my universe. Some of you guys may be designers out there, make your own clothing line or planning to or whatever, bracelets, jewelry, okay? Just starting your own online business or looking into that, okay? Yes, but follow your intuitions as well. Some of you guys may be tarot readers or learning tarot, light workers out there, influencers, okay? But again, your third eye is open. But I am the designer of my universe. So you understand that 
whatever whatever it is that you desire your dreams come to fruition but you have to put that work in guys right so inspire action in two weeks some something happening in two weeks so pay attention and pay attention to your thought process at this time as well okay so this is my money blocks cards okay so this is your money affirmation and by the way, this title, the video is going to be a Bible verse because prayer is essential, especially when you're going through a spiritual awakening, spiritual journey, okay? The law of prayer, owner. So some of you guys may be purchasing property or be into real estate, okay? Owner. So something about owning something, owning, owning something, okay? The rights to something. Feeling greedy. Feeling greedy. Again, some of you guys may be models, makeup artists, okay? Um, hair, but uh, have green or hazel eyes. But it says, or love uh, dark makeup, dark uh, black, like dark lipstick, stuff like that. But gothic. Okay, it says, feeling greedy. You can have what you want in life without feeling guilty. Okay? I am worthy of wealth. So that is your affirmation. I am worthy of wealth. I am worthy of wealth. I am the designer of my universe. Yes. Okay? So never feel guilty for having money, okay? You can have what you want in life without feeling guilty, okay? Because you work hard for it, right? It wasn't given to you. So it's like, you know, laws of attraction. What you give out is what you get back, okay? It says bartender. Some of you guys may be bartenders. Slow down with the drinking. Some of you guys may be alkies out there. Lush, okay? Uh, opening up a bar, Okay, own your own bar, getting a license in bartending, okay, but mix it up. I mean, you know, try different things, trials and error, right? Okay, it says gifts, wants to make a difference in the lives of others. Friendly, compassionate, and kind, motivated by personal goals. Yes, okay, inspire action. Aries is all about action, right? But this is your challenge. Fear of failure, again, trials and error. Just because you fail, you, you can't succeed. It's, it's no success without failing. That's, that's just bottom line. You won't succeed unless you fail. You're going to fail a couple of times, but again, it's, it's seeing what, the, what works and what doesn't. Challenges communicating feelings to others. The Spirit wants you to be more open and receptive to speaking about how you feel, which I, I don't believe Aries have a problem with doing that. But yeah, speaking up effectively about your feelings and how you feel about others, okay? doesn't set boundaries now you have to set those healthy boundaries okay so spirit is saying set those healthy boundaries communicate effectively okay and you're gonna fail those are your challenges but the lesson is people you barely knew helped you out and gained you tr gained your trust so this saying is that strangers your soul tribe is coming in strangers be uh, treated you better than family okay yes so the help that you need is coming okay they're gonna send the help to you your soul tribe is coming in, okay? So pay attention, all right? You may meet them at a bar or a lounge, okay? Out with, for drinks with a couple of colleagues, all right? Yes. I'm looking for something, but here we go. It says, reward yourself. Reward yourself. Okay, some of you guys still need to do in childhood wounding, like healing, okay, from the past. All right, but reward yourself. It says, you've been given a lot of yourself lately, and it's time for you to receive. You're going to get your blessings. Make the time to reward yourself in a meaningful way. This balance of giving and receiving is essential to, keep, to keeping your energy, mood, and motivation at a consistently high level. Okay? So, yes, giving and receiving, like I said, laws of attraction, okay? I'm going to pull some tarot, but I just want to get these cards out of the way first, see what they say, and then I'm going to pull some tarot to tell you what to look out for, pay attention this week. But, uh, again, your other video will be uploaded today on my new channel. Just be patient, okay? Yeah, hold lightly, okay? So you understand that, you know, Everyone is a t it's it's in your life for a reason or a season, right? 
So it's not holding on tightly, but lightly to people, okay? Places and things. You you understand that it comes a point in life that you have to let it go. So in terms of love, if you love someone, right, or you have someone in hospice right now, your loved one is sick, you understand it's time for them to go, right? So hold lightly. It says, I take the things and people that come into my life lightly, not holding on too tight. I just said that, right? So that when it comes time for them to go, they may go smoothly. This does not mean I love any less or not value, but that I am open to the changes of life, right? So we, right now you're going through a powerful transformation. So you're ascending. So you understand that these people are not on your level. You have to, you, it's not, it's no hard feelings, but they just unevolved and you're evolving to a better version of yourself. So you're not smoking or drinking or whatever they're doing anymore. That doesn't make them a, a bad person. Well, it doesn't mean that you love them less. It's just that they're, that's their life and you're on a different path right that's it okay it is what it is i mean hey two 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 you may be seeing repeating numbers two 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 you may be dealing with a pisces or have rising moon venus or you know don't in pisces but you have a difficult decision to make take a brief pause to collect your thoughts before you act Okay, so this is, I, I'm, I know what I'm picking up here, so this is going to be in your in your other reading, because I do see someone here that you had to let go of, like cut cords with, in terms of love, okay, this could be family, friends, whatever, but there's a this difficult decision you're going to have to make, because I do see someone coming in, people um, that you let go of coming in to act for forgiveness and help. Okay, but at the end of the day is your decision. And I do see somebody making a diff difficult decision as well in terms of marriage or a move here. That, yeah. But um, it is a difficult decision that you're going to have to make in terms of when somebody comes back into your life, whether you want to reconcile with those people or not, or continue on in a relationship, okay, or a job. But take a brief pause to collect your thoughts before you act or say anything, okay? Yes. Keys, important choices. Again, decisions, choices, you're going to have choices here and options. Okay, when I see the key, I do see moving a new house, owning something, but I just see owning car, an office, a new office, right? But make sure the contracts, make sure that you're getting what you want. Okay, communication. That was one of your challenges, is challenges, communicating feelings to others. Okay, telling people exactly what you want and what you expect, even if it's a fucking boss. You're telling them, listen, um, I deserve more. I don't. I deserve more money for this position. I don't. I state your case, right? Don't settle for less. Okay. Yes. All right. But important choices, important decisions. That's gonna be on your next video. We're gonna clarify everything. Okay. I'm just giving you oracle messages. Oh, I knew I was missing one deck. Hold on. Sorry about that. Got to get an angel. It says choose a new direction. Okay. And I did, you're, you guys are manifesting, but somebody's manifesting you as well. Okay. But you're going to be helping a lot, a lot of people. I told you, influencers, helping a lot of people. Some of you guys do stand up comedy. Whatever you do, you're going to be enlightening a lot of people. But Spirit is saying choose a new direction important choices and i do see you see manifestation taking place here and a power couple coming in if you're not married already i do see a power couple or you you and your spouse are you know planning something to open up some type of organization church something to help people enlighten people okay whatever that may be but i do see a lot of people follow you i see a visual as well some type of visual taking place and yes but Anyway, in terms of this, I do see a soulmate coming in, 11-11, okay? A partner coming in, and I do see a power couple. But choose a new direction. So whatever you're, if you're planning to move or a project that you're working on or a person, think about it. But yeah, choose a new direction. So you know what that means, right? So if you're if you're thinking about something now and you're iffy, iffy about it, Spirit is saying it's not for you, okay? Period. 
All right, so let me pull some tarot here. Okay, because these are short videos. Just to see. Uh, I just saw it too. Yeah, I do see. Yeah, I do see you guys traveling. Some of you guys are single, walking away from a situation, but I do see a lot of money coming in towards you guys as well. All right, but let me see what to pay attention to. Again, yeah, partnerships, the lovers. It fell on my lap. Okay, so I do see partnerships coming in. Choose wisely. Like I said, in terms of love, you're going to have an important decision to make. I do see somebody has love for you here. Again, a soulmate coming in, twin flame. But it, this is partnerships coming in. A job offer that you're going to love. Okay. Wow, but this is loving yourself as well. King of Wands. This is all about you taking action, being bold, being the leader. Okay, courageous, motivating others. Okay, some of you guys are business owners out there as well, but inspiring people, being an inspiration to others, looking good, taking care of yourself. Okay, there is competition, but like I said, be careful with getting into any arguments and fights with people at this time. Okay, but there's a choice in love. There's a choice in partnerships here. You have choices. Okay, choose wisely and choose a new direction, they're saying. Okay. And five of pentacles. So some of you guys are concerned about money at this time. Yeah, ten of cups. But I do see happiness being restored. Okay, some of you guys may be having problems with your own family members. Okay, being left out in the cold or evicted or health issues at this time. But spirit is saying don't worry about it. Just keep going. Okay, stay prayed up. All right, because I do see things, happiness being restored in your life. Okay, yes. Um... Yeah, because some of you guys are having financial issues, housing issues, health issues. Okay, you may somebody may have ghosted you here. No. Spirit wants you to focus on yourself. Choose a new direction. It's a difficult decision that you have to make. But the angel said, reward yourself. Reward yourself and hold lightly. Okay, so this is this is wasn't meant for you. Something else is coming in. Okay? Something else is coming in. All right. Yes, but you're going to have options here. That is your that is your challenge for this week. Your challenge is to make peace, partnerships, focus on your projects, and don't focus on the lack of, the lack thereof, because that, that's what you guys are concerned about. And be careful with spending money at this time, okay? Spending money, this and that, because I do see somebody reappearing, true happiness reappearing, but again, I do see options here. <laughs> Okay, yes, yeah, happiness being restored in your life, and I do see something about photos, and yes, you being in the spotlight, but happiness being restored in your life, okay, so yes, balance, balance and happiness being restored, and if you go into court, I do see some type of victory as well, okay, yes, but this is all about loving yourself and being inspired to take action, okay, and your circumstances, uh, your circumstances turn it around, okay? But stay hopeful at this time, Aries. All right, let me pick one more, and I'm closing out your reading, Aries. It says, what if it was easy? That is a question. What if it was easy? It says, it doesn't have to be hard. Call in the universe, the stars, the angels, and all, the, all their powers. That, find a solution. Would you take the next step if it were easy? It's time, it's, it's time to expect ease. Call in grace and receive guidance. Be, be ready to receive, guys. You are supported. What I said, the Ascended Masters are with you, 11-11. Today, this week's action. List 10 possible ideals for your soul's current calling. Lean into ease. It's here. You have to say yes to it. Okay, so list 10 possible ideals for your soul's current calling. So, again, you guys are, like, confused and you just feel like people are ghosting you, your family, you have no... No, the Ascended Master, your spirit guides, God is with you, the, the universe. Okay, so what is ideal for your life purpose? What do you think your calling is? Again, trials and errors. So one thing, one thing doesn't work out, don't give up, guys. You have to keep going. Okay, but anyway, this is your Oracle Messages this week. I love you guys. I'm possible, you're possible. Check out I'm possible 2.0 for your general reading, Aries. I love you guys. I'm out.